Students, can you all hear me? Can you all hear me and someone respond? Yes, sir. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so, all of you, good evening. So, today we are going to discuss uh, the first unit. I think last week I gave you the proper introduction for the subject, atomic structure, uh, chemistry, what is chemistry. And uh, I introduced uh, what is this subject, what is the content, what are the units that you have to learn, and what is the type of the examination paper, what is the structure of the examination paper. And then, uh, I taught you how to uh, uh, continue these two years with our work plan, uh, this subject. And uh, at last, I told you what is the difference between the uh, O-level examination and the A-level examination, right? So today, we are going to start the first unit, atomic structure, okay? So before uh, I start the unit, I want to tell you this one. Actually, uh, in my class, you should have a tutorial because when I'm asking you to write down uh, some important things, you have to write down everything in the tutorial. So uh, today only I got the all addresses, that means uh, all the details that uh, you given to Sandunimis. Today only I got the all details. So you will be given, uh, you will be posted actually these two tutorials. So there are two tutorials for you. So this is this blue color one is past paper question tutorial and this is the theory tutorial. Okay. So you will get this one very soon. Before next Saturday, you will get the tutorials. Okay. Because Monday, I'm Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to post these tutorials. You will get all the tutorials uh, before next Saturday class. Right. Now we don't have time to waste. Let's go for the first unit atomic structure. So today my plan is to discuss introduction and the cathode ray experiment. So let's finish that one today. And then uh, next day we can discuss about subatomic particles and atomic particles, right? Okay. Remember students, now you know uh, what does mean by chemistry. Chemistry is actually just what uh, simply we can tell that the definition is study of matter. But if we go further, we can discuss about the matter energy relationship between uh, the relationship between matter and energy in this unit. So that's mainly uh, the subject chemistry series, right? So today we are going to discuss about the atomic theory first of all. This is very interesting, right? Remember, in ancient time, the people actually, the people means we, we all are people, right? The people uh, were thinking that how that everything around us has been made or created or oh, uh, what are the things actually included, why these things are happening, how these things are made. So ancient people had a lot of doubts because at that time period, we didn't have Einstein, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have what? Isaac Newton, any theories, any physics, chemistry, philo so biology, we didn't have any subject, right? In ancient time, very ancient time. So they were thinking very deeply how that matter is made, how that everything around us is made. Can you understand what I'm saying? They were thinking that how these things are made. So that's a question, right? That's a fair question. So normally the atomic theory was built by these Greek people. You know that uh, the country Greece, right? Rome, Greece, Greece here, Rome here. Through that particular area, they have a lot of philosophers, right? They have a lot of philosophers. So one of the philosophers actually, his name is, what is the name? Impodiclus. He thought that 
everything around us is made by four things everything around us it has been made by four things what are those four things those four things are very very important look at this one four things remember they are thinking right this is the way they thought how the matter is made so this is the first this is the first concept or the first idea about the matter how the matter is made right so they were thinking that everything around us is made by water fire air and earth earth means actually soil okay water soil right so hindus also in your resource book they have told that hindus ancient hindus also they were thinking that these things are the basic fundamental particles of matter water fire air and earth look at this one water fire air and earth these are the four fundamental particles that matter is made right but later so now we can realize that you have learned that in your o level time also you have learned that subatomic particles are made by that means the matter is made by atoms right so atom is made by subatomic basic subatomic particles like electrons protons and neutrons so the science has developed day by day vidyava davasin davasa dinuvetti menna me kiyana eka yalpana giya mathuka right so this is actually very ancient concept right can you accept this one any more here after can you accept this matter is made by water fire air and earth can you accept that one is that the fundamental particle no right ekane me fundamental particle right but in ancient time they were thinking that the matter is made by water fire air and and after some period of time again around the greece there was there was a scientist a philosopher actually we cannot tell we cannot tell scientist so these people are philosophers they have they had a vision right they were thinking about everything properly so they had a vision so therefore i can call them mass philosophers democrates you have learned you have heard that name democrates so there there was a philosopher known as democrates so democrates said that democrates said that what everything around us is made by tiny invisible indivisible particles that's correct ne for example now if i take a piece of paper in this way look at this one now i have a piece of paper right now i have a piece of paper i'm going to tear this one in this way i'm going to tear right and another part right now the i'm going to divide this one by tearing huh? another particle another one another one huh? another one now i have a small particle me small uh, paper piece so here after i cannot divide this one further can you understand here after i cannot divide this one further so this is the small particle small particle that we have can you understand me so this is the small particle that i have here after i cannot divide this paper piece any more likewise democrates he was thinking that ah we cannot divide this one further we cannot divide this we cannot divide this matter further so tiny invisible indivisible particles we can obtain they are after nothing now actually this water fire air earth this concept actually what removed that concept was removed actually after finding this right so he was telling that democrates he said that everything around us that means matter is made by tiny indivisible you know that indivisible means we cannot divide that one further and invisible invisible means we cannot see that one that's very correct because 
can you see the atom for our naked eye? No, we cannot see that one, right? We cannot see the atom for our naked eye. So therefore, his concept is actually almost correct. Neither tiny, indiv in indivisible, sorry, indivisible and invisible particles. Tiny means puda, we cannot see, very small. Indivisible means we cannot divide that one further. Invisible means we cannot see that one. That's correct. Particles. So Democritus said that everything around us, that, is, that means the matter is made by tiny, indivisible, invisible particles. Right? So, actually remember, Plato and Aristotle, after again some time, Plato and Aristotle, actually this Plato and Aristotle, these two philosophers actually, students of Democrat, Democritus. Actually, he, these two people are students of Democritus. So therefore, actually they also accepted, as the philosophers, they also accepted this theory, tiny, indivisible and invisible particles. So they have given a name for this one as atomos. What is that one? Atomos. Remember students, this atomos term is actually a Greek term. Make a Greek abatave in a vasaya. Atomos. Do you know what does it mean by atomos? Atomos means again tiny, indivisible, invisible particles. We cannot divide atom, we cannot divide matter further. Those tiny particles are known as what? Atomos. Those tiny particles are known as atomos. So Plato and Aristotle also developed this concept. Right? Tiny, indivisible, and invisible particles. Actually, this concept was uh, what continued for a long time because these two people, these two famous philosophers, also accepted this one. So, therefore, this concept actually was continued for a long time. Right? And then there was an English uh, chemistry that means. Uh, his uh, nation is actually British. So John Dalton, he was an English teacher. English teacher. That means, uh, yeah, John Dalton, British one. So introduced them. They were thinking that, right? They were thinking that. Atom, the matter is made by tiny, indivisible and indiv invisible particles, very small particles. Those particles are known as what? Atomos. Atomos is actually a Greek term, Greek word. Try to understand. So, John Dalton later introduced the atomic theory. Atomic theory. Under his atomic theory, he introduced the atomic model. What is the atomic model that he represented, right? What is the atomic model that he represented by his atomic theory? Remember, he said that atom is look like golf ball. Anna, this is the first atomic model that we have to discuss. John Dalton said that according to his theory, right? The concept is concept in his theory is actually. He said that atom is look like a golf ball. Atom is look like a golf ball. Understood? Atom is look like a golf ball. We cannot divide that one further. So that is the main concept of atomic theory represented by John Dalton. Okay, ne? that's the main atomic theory. Right? So you can understand how that this concept is made. Ne? In ancient time, actually, they were thinking that Everything is made by these four fundamental particles, water, fire, air, and earth. These are the four fundamental particles, right? Yeah, I will give you time to write. Wait, I'll give you time. I will give you time to write down these things. Wait, okay? First of all, listen to me. I told you, Islam under the in the past and among the First of all, listen to me very carefully. 
So actually, as I mentioned you, uh, remember, everything around us is made by, they were thinking that water, fire, air, and earth. And then there was a scientist, philosopher known as Democritus. He said that everything is made by tiny, indivisible, invisible particles known as what? Atom. Later it is known as atoms. Actually, atomos is Greek term. That's how the term, English term, atom came. Remember, most of the terms actually that we are using in English language is originated by a uh, Greek language, right? So therefore, even the element uh, names, right? So they are originated from the Greek language, okay? So Plato and Aristotle, the, they were very famous philosophers. They also accepted this uh, theory. Therefore, they, give, uh, they gave a name Atomos and then John developed John Dalton developed that one as a theory. So the main thing in the main concept in the atomic theory is he said that atom is look like a golf ball. You know about the golf ball. golf ball can Right? So golf ball, we cannot easily divide them. So John Dalton assuming that atom is look like a golf Okay? So these are the things actually you have to remember under the introduction atomic theory. This is the way that atomic theory is Okay, quickly in order. So, quickly write down these things. Yeah. So who is John Dalton, a British chemist? Yeah, in your resource book, they have given that uh, English scientist and school teacher. John Dalton is actually a English scientist and English uh, school teacher. John Dalton, okay. So should we uh, write in separate book? Yeah, better you have a book, okay? We must write down the tutorial, right? Uh, you don't have tutorial right now. So the things that I'm going to teach you today, you have to write down those things in a book. Take a book or small, uh, take some piece of papers and write down. Okay, when you get the tutorial, you can complete the tutorial. Because we, there are all these things I have mentioned in the tutorial. For today, write down these things. When you get the tutorial, you can uh, fill the tutorial and I'm asking to uh, complete the tutorial. Okay. Today only I got all of your uh, addresses, I think. Uh, so therefore, uh, I can send you the tutorials by uh, next time. Quickly, yeah. Now you have to be a little bit faster because now you are doing A level in A level. Okay. Um, okay, now let's move for the next subtopic. What is the next subtopic that we have to discuss? The next subtopic that we have to discuss is cathode ray experiment. Okay, so write down the next subtopic cathode ray experiment. Until you get the tutorials, write down these things with me. the cathode ray experiment. Bevahari Malay see these things are very easy. So therefore, don't worry. Let's learn one by one. This is just starting. So therefore, you don't have to be that much serious. I have seen that a lot of students are very serious at the beginning, but at the middle, actually, you're not even don't care about the examination. At the final, again, you're getting many serious characters, right? You are actually what? I don't know whether you will have uh, multiple. Disorder order, you know that there is a 
నిడా తినే అరే సో యూ ఆర్ బికమింగ్ వెరీ సీరియస్ సో దెన్ అంటిల్ యూ విల్ ఎండ్ అప్ విత్ ద ప్రెషర్ యూ డోంట్ నో వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ టు యూ రైట్ సో దే ఆర్ హోప్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ టు బి దట్ మచ్ సీరియస్ అట్ ద బిగినింగ్ సో జస్ట్ డూ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ వెరీ ఈజీ ఓకే after the today's class i will send you a homework sheet a small homework sheet and do the homework and send the home homework before next saturday class and i will send you the resource book pdf also what is the resource book you have to follow okay right cathode ray experiment our next topic is cathode ray experiment now remember students john dalton uh, in his atomic theory he represented that actually atom is look like a golf ball okay can you accept uh, that now atom is a golf ball so democritus is the one who named atom or atomos both plato and aristotle didn't believe atomos i found this info from the internet is that true remember you will find many informations from the internet but those informations are not correct please follow your resource book and theory note that i'm giving you don't have to follow the internet or whatever right so therefore i have given the note in the tutorial and you have the resource book if you don't believe me you can uh, follow through the resource book you have the resource book government issued resource book and go through that one and one more thing i have to remind you that i have been teaching for so many years in the resource book also there are some mistakes okay so therefore actually we cannot get the we cannot filter the correct information exactly 100% there are many ideas in the examination they won't ask who gave name that atomos who gave that atomos uh, atomos names right who is the john dalton they are not asking these things okay so now examination pattern is completely different okay right so don't worry right you have the resource book you have my note refer that one cathode ray experiment right our topic is cathode ray experiment remember students cathode ray experiment is very very important regarding this atomic structure regarding this atomic theory why what is the reason తర్వాత మాట కదా యాగన్ రిమెంబర్ యాక్చువల్లీ దే డిడ్ నో దట్ ద బేసిక్ ఫండమెంటల్ పార్టికల్ ఇన్ ఎటమ్ వాస్ సో ఎలక్ట్రిక్ రైట్ బట్ పారలల్లీ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ టైం దే హావ్ వాస్ అ సైంటిస్ట్ యాక్చువల్లీ నోన్ యాస్ మైకల్ ఫారడే కెన్ ఎనీవన్ టెల్ మీ దట్ హూ ఇస్ దిస్ మైకల్ ఫారడే anyone do you know about michael faraday who is the michael faraday who is michael faraday who is michael faraday electromagnetism yeah very close rather than that anything else we are giving a name for him actually we are giving a name for him the name is actually what father of electricity remember father of electricity michael faraday why they are giving a name father of electricity because michael faraday is the one who conducted so many experiments regarding the electricity you know that if there is a circuit in this way you can light a bulb in this way so through the circuit you know that current is passing current electricity is passing right through the circuit current electricity pass right so what will happen to so this direction uh, current is passing for this direction so this direction current is passing for the opposite direction you know that electrons are passing for the opposite direction electrons are passing ne you have learned this theory in your all time neither ola kali gana hata neither medine battery danagre this is the positive tip and this is the negative tip 
So for this direction, from the positive tip, current electricity is passing, and from the negative tip, electrons are passing. Try to understand. Then, can you understand that the fundamental particle in electricity is what? What is the fundamental particle in electricity? Can you tell me? I need you ask in the chat box. What is the fundamental particle in electricity? How that electricity passes through a circuit? Ah, very good, very good, good, very good, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the fundamental particle in electricity is none other than electron. Neither you know that electricity is kind of energy. Electrical energy. So this is kind of energy, right? So most of the scientists, including Michael Faraday, they have conducted lot of experiments regarding electricity, and they have found that the basic fundamental particle is electron. The elect electricity is generated by the flow of the electrons. They have found that, but in the same time. At the same time, people didn't know that the basic fundamental particle in matter is what electron. Because remember, because they were thinking that according to the Joel Dalton's theory, they were thinking that the basic fundamental particle is what atom. एको लो एवं नकांग नकांग इटे पदार्थ तेरी ना मूल्य कांशो परमाणु गिला. Understood. Right, but parallelly, Michael Faraday and other scientists have conducted some experiments regarding electricity, and they have found that basic fundamental particle is electron. Okay. Try to understand what I'm saying. So this is actually very uh, unfortunate. Why? Actually, they should be able to find out the basic fundamental particle in matter is elect electron. First of all, before the electricity, right? Actually, that means you know that electricity is energy, and we are talking about the matter in chemistry. Can you see the connection? Energy, matter, energy, matter, energy is electricity is energy. Fundamental particle is what? Electron. Electron is the fundamental particle. And the connection is. What is the fundamental particle in matter now? Electron. We have three particles now: electron, proton, neutron. But earlier they found electron, so therefore we can consider that electron is the fundamental particle. So no, not wrong with that one, right? We can tell in that. But they didn't know that. They didn't know the basic fundamental particle in matter is electron. They go to even now. What the name is? Name? Padar. They mostly can't show electron. They were thinking that the basic fundamental particle is atom. So how that later they discovered? Okay, later they discovered the fundamental particle is there inside the atom that is electron. And further, they conducted some experiment to find out two more fundamental particles: proton and neutron. There are three subatomic particles, right? So look at this one. How for unfortunate we are. They know the basic fundamental particle in energy is electron. Okay, fine, but that is not related to us now, because in subject chemistry we are talking about the matter. But don't worry, students. Why in the part? Electron is given to go our brain. That the fundamental particle like a key along matter. How is that? How did they find that was an accident? Do you know that discovery of electron? Was an accident. I'm going to explain the accident now. Look at the way that accident happened, right? This is the way that they have find out electron. And one more thing, I have to tell you that there was a person known as Johnston, right? Johnston, Johnny. You know about Johnston, right? We also having a Johnston. Johnston G. Stoney. What is the name? Johnston G. Stoney. There was a person known as Johnston G. Stoney. 
what is the contribution of Johnston G. Stoney? He is the one who gave the name for electron. Named the electron. Write down quickly. Who named the electron? Johnston G. Stoney. Okay. Who discovered the electron? J.J. Thompson. Nah? Don't confuse. Right? Johnston G. Stoney. He is the one who named the electron. And J.J. Thompson is the one who found the electron. Right? Uh, so, Michael Faraday, anyhow, uh, they conducted some experiments to find out the basic fundamental particle in electricity is electron. So, therefore, they knew about the electron. So, he gave the name, Johnston G. Stoney gave the name as electron. But still, we don't know what is the basic fundamental particle in matter. Right? So, I told you, Eva knew about the electricity. Okay? Quickly, don't note down these things. Quickly. Put a rough note. Okay? okay. If you want to uh, draw these things, actually draw. It doesn't matter. I won't say anything. Okay. These circuits and everything are though, not that much important. So Michael Faraday discovered the electron, not J.J. Thompson. No, 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 it's not like that. Remember, the electron that we are talking about in matter, in chemistry, we are talking about the electron, the fundamental particle electron in matter. Michael Faraday has found the electron that is related to the electricity. Electron has two forms there, energy and matter. We are talking about the electron that was discovered by J.J. Thompson, the basic fundamental particle in matter. So Michael Faraday has conducted some experiments regarding the electricity and he found that basic fundamental particle is kind of a particle is that one. So that is known as electron, right? Don't con confuse with these two. Still, we are discussing what is the funda fundamental particle of the matter, okay? So J.J. Thompson, has found that this fundamental particle in matter is electron. That's why we are giving the name that who, who found the electron, J.J. Thompson. Actually, technically, that should be wrong. Yeah, I can understand. But actually, we have to consider that the one who found the electron is J.J. Thompson because we are talking about chemistry, not the energy or electricity. We are not talking about physics. Okay. But everything is same, right? So if you ask to find out, may write down who is the who found the electron. You have don't put Michael Faraday. Answer will be JJ Thompson because we are talking about the matter. Okay. When I was starting the unit, the first unit always students are asking this question. So therefore, uh, the same answer for you as well. Right. Okay. Now the next thing. I told you. Remember, they didn't know that. Electron is the fundamental particle in matter. They knew that electron is the fundamental particle in electricity. So there were some bunch of scientists actually. I'm going to write down the names of those uh, bunch of idiots. No, no, don't tell idiots, right? Bunch of idiots. Bunch of great scientists. Huh? Look at the first name actually. The first name is starting with Sir. Sir William Crookes, Sir William Crookes, huh? Sir William Crookes, and the next name Wilhelm Wilhelm Hitoff, Wilhelm Hitoff, and the next name Julius Plucker. Sir, so how many names we have to remember, sir? At the beginning, how many names we have to remember? Uh, Plato, Lu, Aristotle, Lu, Democrates, Lu, uh, Sir William Brooks, Lu, Wilhelm Hitoff, Julius Plucker. Ayyo, how many names that we have to remember? Don't worry, just learn these things. Later, we can short note these things, and later, you can discuss some questions and we can put these, these things into your mind. Don't. I will guarantee this, right? 
actually nowadays no use of remembering these names so don't uh, try not to memorize this thing memorize okay memorize means try to remember these things okay so uh, last name is very important what is the last name last name is j j thompson j j thompson students remember we are discussing about the story of electron you know that actually under the cathode ray experiment we are discussing today the story of electron how they found the electron okay so they have to listen to this story carefully there are two there are four scientists bunch of scientists sir william crookes wilhelm hitoff julius prakker and j j thomson there are four scientists and what did they do actually what did they do sir william crookes wilhelm hitoff julius prakker and j j thomson remember i told you that they knew that basic fundamental particle in electricity is electric they conducted so many several experiments regarding the electricity so these four people also tried to do an experiment regarding current electricity what is the experiment they have conducted is they tried to they tried to send the current electricity through the gas medium Yeah. Uh, 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 what is that? They tried to send the current electricity through the gaseous state, gas medium. Because Michael Faraday and the all other scientists already they have conducted some experiments to send the current electricity through the liquid state and solid state. They have conducted those experiments, but these four scientists represented. So they actually. came to introduce represent that how the current electricity passes through the gaseous state gas medium understood so so the actually a uh, sir william crookes this scientist sir william crookes actually he constructed he developed an instrument i'm going to draw the instrument okay before i go for the instrument first of all note down these four uh, scientists name and write down what are their contribution contribution is pass current electricity electricity uh i'll write in this way they tried to send current electricity current electricity through the gas gaseous state so don't worry uh, i i have mentioned these things in the tutorial since you don't have the tutorial today uh, you have to note down the special things that i'm writing on the whiteboard okay so what are the four uh, what are the four scientists names sir william crookes wilhelm hitoff Julius Plater, J. J. Thomson. What are their contribution? They tried to send current electricity through the gaseous state. Okay, oh, right. So, Sir William Crookes is the uh, the one who uh, the leader actually of this group. He tried to construct a instrument. Now we are going to discuss about that instrument. We can note down these four names. Tagal, Tagal, Tagal. These things are really easy. Okay, quickly. Done. Now let's go for the experiment setup. Let's go for the experimental setup. Huh? Look at this one. Actually, this uh, experimental setup or the instrument that they have developed is known as cathode ray experiment. Okay, so this instrument is known as cathode ray tube. So this is the setup. 
you have to draw this setup with me. Okay. This is actually hard glass tube. This is actually very hard glass tube. Okay. This is very hard glass tube. And then what did they do? They have uh, created two metal plates. In this way, they have created two metal plates. And uh, in the other side, we have another metal plate. Okay. We have two metal plates in this way. Right. And then they are trying to make, they are trying to make two electrodes. They are trying to make two electrodes by supplying high voltage so let me write down here this is high voltage source this is high voltage source so the voltage uh, of this high voltage source is approximately that is equal to uh, we cannot exactly tell the value but approximately that is uh, 10 kilovolts okay that means 10000 volts so you can understand how much uh, how big that is okay 10000 volts so that is the high voltage source and here in this way so now we have two metal plates that means two electrodes which are connected to the high voltage source so one one metal plate is known as what cathode this is known as cathode right and this is known as anode, cathode and the anode. Can anyone tell me, can anyone tell me, cathode is, uh, what is the charge of cathode? Can anyone tell me, what is the charge of the cathode? Negative, yeah, correct. Negative, very good. Then anode is positively charged. Okay, neither. If the cathode is negatively charged, definitely, Anode should be positively charged. No doubt about it, right? If the cathode is negatively charged, anode is positively charged. So this is the experimental setup that they have constructed in order to check whether gaseous state has the current electricity. Can you understand what I'm saying? experimental setup current Right? So this is the experimental setup that they have used to check whether gaseous state passed the current electricity. Right? Uh, now, uh, and uh, this glass tube, they are giving uh, so many names for this glass tube actually. I'll write no those names because sometimes in your first term examination at school, they might ask these things. We can give a name for this one. Uh, the first name is cathode ray tube. Okay, CRT, cathode ray tube. And some of the people are telling a uh, Crookes tube to honor Sir William Crookes. They are giving a name Crookes tube. And some of the people are telling a uh, discharge tube. Okay, discharge tube. So likewise, uh, they are giving so many names. Okay. So what are the names they are giving? Cathode ray tube, Crookes tube, discharge tube. Right. So these are the names that they have given. So anyway, whatever that cathode ray tube or Crookes tube or discharge tube, this is actually hard glass tube. That's all, right? So in order to, uh, I'll tell you why they have given cathode ray tube. And uh, you know that why they have given uh, Crookes tube because to honor Sir William Crookes. Discharge means, again, I will explain that. Okay? Right. Now, this is the experimental system. 
we have anode, we have cathode. Okay, high voltage source is connected to the to this cathode. Do you know that that happened actually? What happened? What is the observation? Now this is an experiment, right? In an experiment, you know that we have an experiment, we have observation, and we have conclusion. So this is the experiment they have conducted, right? I have explained the experiment here. What is the setup, and what is going to happen? Tell me what is going to happen. So why they know not cathode ray tube? Can you explain it again? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I'll tell you why they have given a name as cathode ray tube. I'll come to that one. First of all, wait. Okay, I will explain. Okay, sure, for sure, I will explain. Now look at this one, student. Now tell me first of all. You all tell me that what will happen even after. Now I have connected high voltage source to two metal plates. One is cathode, one is the anode. What is the observation? They tried to. The scientist actually tried to pass the current electricity through through the gaseous medium. Do you know what happened? Actually, the they didn't expect this one. I told you that this is the story of electron. Story of electron is an accident. I'm explaining that accident. Accidentally, they observed a green color glow from cathode side to anode side. That means a green color glow. That means some of the radiations are emitting from cathode to anode. Okay, cathode to anode, they observed some radiations are emitting. Very, very, very important. Look at this one. They observed that green color. Those are not actually green color. We can see them in green color because we can keep fluorescent screen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sir. What does mean by fluorescent screen? These radiations are not green color, okay? These radiations are not green color. We can see these radiations in green color because we can keep fluorescent screen, fluorescent screen behind the glass tube. Therefore, through that fluorescent screen, we can see that from cathode side to anode side, some of the radiations are emitting. Like cathode ray tube, because it is a thin screen, like that. Is screen making last time the balagan the bulwang. One other make cathode ray. If not, we can put some fluorescent particles into the glass tube. Uh, from that one, we can see the green color, right? Okay. Now, ah, uh, one more thing. They have included helium-like gases to this glass tube. Normally, they are including they they have injected helium hydrogen-like gases. They are injecting helium, hydrogen, like uh, gases, because uh, they are trying to they are trying to uh, pass the current electricity through the gaseous medium. And one more thing, I want to remind you: the very important thing is they have maintained the pressure inside the glass tube as one over hundred mercury millimeters. Oh my God, mercury millimeters! One over hundred. Mercury millimeters. The pressure inside the glass tube is one over hundred mercury millimeters. Okay, that's very low pressure. They have injected helium-like gas into this glass tube. What is the reason? Because they wanted to uh, pass the current electricity through the gaseous medium. Can anyone tell? Why they have particularly used helium-like gas? They could have used any other gas, oxygen, nitrogen. We can use them, no issue. Why they have particularly used helium? What is the reason? Inert gas, noble gas. Inert gases and noble gases are not reacting with others in the glass tube. If we are injecting a different gas. We have to make sure that inside the glass tube we have only that gas. From injecting helium-like gas, we can make sure we can be very sure that helium is not going to react with anything inside the glass tube. Neither. 
हीलियम वाले गैस का कैथोड दम में तभी दान ना अनिवार्य में कैथोड दिए ना हीलियम में क्या रिएक्ट करना है डी रीज़न नी इस हीलियम इस इनर्ट गैस ग्लोबल गैस दे आर नॉट रिएक्टिंग विद द अदर्स आर सो आर नाउ लुक एट दिस वन सो नाउ यू नो द रीज़न व्हाई दे हैव हीलियम गैस एंड कैन एनीवन टेल मी व्हाई दे हैव To some certain amount, okay. What is the reason behind? By decreasing the pressure, what they expecting? What they expecting? To reduce reactivity of gases. Yeah, correct. So electrons can travel. Uh, okay, that's also acceptable. But I need the correct. Uh, I didn't get the correct answer yet, actually. The answer that I expected, I didn't get that yet. May, if we are supplying high voltage, right? So this voltage means actually electromotive force. So that force is very big because voltage is ten thousand volts. That voltage is very high. So a big force we are applying to the glass tube while reducing the. Pressure. What we can expect? Electron can travel without coming. Yeah, that's also correct, right? Remember, we can make sure that glass tube is not going to break. If the pressure inside is very high, then gas particles will collide with this gas tube, and again, pressure will increase inside the gas glass tube. Pressure will increase. Anna Hari, yeah, I got an answer. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one answer. Correct. That's also correct. Remember, we have high pressure inside the glass tube. What will happen? This hard glass tube will again break. In order to make sure that this glass tube is not going to break, we have to reduce the pressure up to some certain amount. That's why I have maintained. We they have maintained this amount of pressure. I told you that this is not only learning, but you have to think actually why they have applied this voltage, why they have uh, applied this kind of a voltage. Because when you apply this kind of a voltage, actually it's easily electrons can move, may cathode rays can move from cathode to anode. Okay? Because this uh, electrical energy will convert it to the kinetic energy. Right. Okay. Anyway, now you know that why we have injected helium gas and why we have injected, uh, why we have maintained the pressure inside the cathode ray tube is one over hundred. You know the reason. Now, as I mentioned you that the scientists observed that a green color glow emitting from cathode to anode. That's not exactly green color. I told you as I mentioned you. We can see that one in green color because of fluorescent screen that we are going to apply uh, behind opposite opposite of the cathode ray tube. We can keep a fluorescent screen through that fluorescent screen. We can see that one in green color. If not, we can inject some fluoro particles, fluorescent particles into the glass tube. From that one, we can. Is this similar to like? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay. So therefore. We can see this one in green. I have a video. I will show you that. Okay? Then you will understand. Right now, look at this one. I want all of you to understand this. Now, some of the radiations are emitting from cathode. Remember, these people didn't expect that, right? Yeah, the pressure decreased because remember, I think the answer. Pressure inside the glass tube decreased. The reason is when you increase the pressure. That means if we have a high pressure inside the glass tube, this glass tube can break because we are supplying high voltage from here. So therefore, again, the pressure high means inside the glass tube pressure high means. This glass can break. That's not good, actually. 
in order to avoid that breaking of the glass we have to reduce the pressure inside the glass tube to some certain amount understood so that's why they have reduced the pressure if the pressure is very high glass will break because you know that gaseous state particles are also actually colliding with the glass wall from that one also pressure will create right in a container just imagine we have we have a unit known as gaseous state of matter they also we will learn that so we have a gas in a what close uh, rigid container so gaseous state particle will collide with the uh, container and uh, from that one pressure will create so that pressure should be decreased in order to avoid from the breaking of the glass tube right so precautions are very important when you are doing an experiment can you understand so someone asked me that doubt can you understand again any doubts okay right okay right so now you can see that ah uh, some of the radiations are emitting from cathode to anode from cathode side to anode radiations are emitting they saw that radiations in green color everyone was shocked can you understand they didn't expect this kind of observation from this experiment these bunch of scientists sir william bruce uh, jj thompson uh, wilhelm hitoff julius plucker these four scientists actually they didn't expect this kind of an observation from this experiment they tried to they just tried to pass check whether the path Yes, the state passed the current electricity. That's all. But some kind of radiations are emitting from cathode to anode. Since these radiations are emitting from the cathode, remember these radiations are starting from the cathode. Since these radiations are emitting from the cathode, starting from the cathode, they have given a name for these radiations. What are the names? Cathode rays. Unknown. cathode rays what is the name that they have used for these radiations these are cathode rays cathode rays now can you understand why they have given cathode ray tube cathode rays are there emitting from the cathode so therefore they have given cathode ray tube so the interesting thing is they didn't expect this kind of radiations that will emit from the cathode anyone didn't expect so therefore this is an accident i told you discovery of electron is an accident do you know what does what, what are these electrons what do you think what are these cathode rays ne monada me cathode rays kela me cathode dekin eliri gela di oga ande hitana vidiyata wena mona hari Pikiran aja tiada. Are those things X-rays, gamma rays? Ah, uh, what are these cathode rays? Ah, uh, electrons. None other than electrons. Remember, this is the discovery of electron. Okay. Ah, uh, someone is asking how we can reduce the pressure inside the glass tube. So we can pump out the gas from this glass tube. so we can vacuum the gas outside from the glass tube just imagine we have a valve here we have a valve here from this valve we can reduce the pressure we can take outside we can uh, reduce the pressure by what absorbing the gas from this glass tube so we have some experimental methods for them understood we can use vacuum pump okay so using that actually we can what get the gas inside the glass okay so i don't have to mention those things right so those things are very easy so those are some experimental things okay so this is the thing this is the cathode ray experiment and this is the cathode ray tube and this is the way that they conduct the cathode experiment cathode ray experiment is completely an accident why it's an accident now this green color glow is there neither so these radiations are green we can see them in green color there was a scientist known as jjt 
which that JJT, JJT means JJ Thompson. Okay, JJT means JJ Thompson. So the scientist JJ Thompson, he was very eager to find this. What are these green color radiations? He was very eager to find what are these green color radiations. Absolutely, he was very eager to find what are those radiation than the other scientists. Okay. So, what kind of material did they use as cathode and anode? A metal plate. A metal. We can use metal because they should pass the current electricity. So, therefore, they can use metal plate as the cathode. As the anode, we can again use metal plate. Remember, this black color is a slice actually what metal plates. Okay, neither. Right. Can we use carbon rods? Yeah, we can use carbon graphite. Because car carbon graphite can uh, conduct the electricity. Electricity. That's okay. Okay. We can use carbon graphite. Okay. Because they can conduct the electricity. Right. So if you have any doubts, uh, put the doubts in the chat box. I will answer you. Okay. Don't worry. So, Sandy uh, Thompson was very eager to find what are these green color. So in the next part, we are going to discuss what are the experiments did by J J Thompson. Regarding this green color, he conducted several experiments regarding this green color group. Then we are going to discuss what are the experiments and how did they discover that cathode rays are electrons. We are going to discuss how they concluded these cathode rays are none other than electrons. Understood? We are going to discuss this one later. Now, all of you, tell me what are the doubts you have. I will explain. In the chat box, use the chat box and uh, send your doubts. So, did the electrons move out from the cathode to uh, cathode to the other direction? So, did the electrons move out from the to other direction? No, 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 no. This cathode ray is actually kind of a circular metal plate. So cathode rays are emitting and they are going towards them, not for other directions. Why was this experiment conducted for in the first, in the first place? Why? Uh, so what is usual ending time of the class? Usual ending time is 11 p.m. I don't have to tell you that. You know the time, 8 to 11. Class will be conducted from 8 to 11. For this metal plate, how we can use carbon as it's, it's an unmetal. We can use carbon because carbon graphite is conducting the electricity. Remember, carbon graphite can conduct the electricity. So this current also flow here opposite to the direction of electron flow. Current also flow opposite to the direction of electron flow. Yeah, can it can happen, but uh, that is not. Uh, but, but that is not uh, in our concern. What is the conclusion of this experiment? Conclusion of this experiment. We are going to discuss the conclusion of this experiment after observing the experiments did on cathode rays by J J Thomson. Then later I will tell you. What is the conclusion of this experiment? The final conclusion is these are electrons. This is the discovery of electrons. This cathode ray experiment is actually conducted in order to find the electron. In your all level time, you have just learned that electron is there. Electron was found by J.J. Thompson, that's all. But you didn't learn that how that electrons was discovered. This is the way that they discovered the electron using the cathode ray experiment. But the special thing is cathode ray experiment was an accident. Okay? Because their intention was to find that whether the current electricity passes through the gaseous medium. So why the high voltage given to the experiment? So high voltage is given because uh, we need to see that 
that means uh, if they are passing if something is passing we have to see that one properly and uh, that's why they are giving high voltage source we are passing a current so what was the observation they expected the observation that they expected is actually not uh, kind of radiations that means uh, they thought that they didn't they didn't expect that radiation so they thought that some kind of uh, electrons that means the current will pass so we can measure the, that we can measure the current we have several methods to find the we have several methods to measure the current okay so therefore they didn't expect this kind of uh, radiations so these are radiations some of the radiations are emitted they just they just uh, find out whether this uh, gaseous medium that is this area past the current okay right now complete this diagram quickly in your book quickly draw this diagram we have to uh, move for the experiments uh, did by jj thompson quickly complete this diagram so why helium is inserted to the glass tube because helium is not reacting with other gases ne easily other things easily so helium is inert gases inert gas so therefore that will be uh, very convenient for us when we are using helium like this so the current uh, passes through the gaseous medium right yeah current passes through the gaseous medium under some specific conditions Sir, didn't the electrons move from the other side to from cathode? So the electrons move to the other side to from cathode. No, no, no. Electrons are moving for the anode, ne? Because these cathode rays are negatively charged. I'll tell you, these cathode rays are negatively charged. That's why these are moving for the anode side. So what will happen if they use a gas which is reactive? uh if they have used a gas reactive the thing will happen is actually they can form new particles we cannot see these radiations properly so they are interfering these radiations so therefore we cannot see the radiations if they have used uh, some kind of uh, reactive gases if you are using reactive gas we should be able to make sure that we have used only that gas inside the glass tube if we have any other particles they will react with the oxygen and we cannot see this kind of proper radiation diode and sometimes the uh, pressure will increase and the glass will be break and one more thing i want to remind you that don't ask me sir at what time class finishes mama kiyanna onne class ivara karana vela mama kiyala thiyala athe indala ekala wenne kan class ekak thiyenne aa yahan dewa main class ek kiyala thiyenne you don't have to ask from that okay so don't ask me that at what time class finishes class finishes at 11 class will be conducted from 8 to 11 okay done right okay now the next thing so as i mentioned you remember now as i mentioned you that jd thompson was very eager to find out what are these green color radiations he was very eager right now let's see what are the experiment experiment conducted on cathode rays by jd thompson okay let's see i'm going to erase the diagram
right so how is your a level life now you just started your a level life how is it is it okay huh? you are enjoying your a level life you just started how was the classes huh? you went for the biology classes physics classes combined maths classes so how was the classes interesting happy to start with the good class okay thank you thank you very much right. what about the others how was your classes i hope this is just the trailers yeah yeah <laughs> this is actually very least than the trail okay we have to learn a lot of things so when uh, the way that you are asking questions actually uh, uh remind me that uh, beginning of my a level time so so we also had the same doubt actually why they are conducting this kind of experiment so why the pressure increase why the pressure decrease how that we can remove the pressure inside the gas tube but then later we found out that actually this is not the these are not the questions we should ask we have to ask many more questions later right but at that time actually we didn't realize that these are the questions that we should ask hari chaale ek yadi therum ganna meka nemai attarama subject ekak gila kiyanne den oya metane inne subject ekak hitana nana dara kiyanne den mata gediya ganna meka thamai chemistry ekak hitana nana dara diya meka nemai chemistry me thiyenne attarama patan gan tipi gan right chemistry palawini paadama attara ugannanna patta maw den mata gediya it's very difficult to teach the first unit for the students the reason is you are coming just after your oral examination we are learning lot of theories the basic principle theories so we need some time to teach these things so therefore these things are very difficult thara therunga meka neme subject subject ekey depth ekak thama danne naha wala you don't know about the depth of the subject if you want to know the depth of the subject go for 23 batch or you are what brothers elder brothers and elder sisters those who did the uh, a level bio stream and maths ask from them what is the depth if i tell the atomic structure for them they will laugh <laughs> so is that it atomic structure right they will just they don't care atomic structure because they know that only one mcq will come sometimes that will that also won't come but they don't they know the value of the atomic structure because i told you atomic structure unit will be fed to the Will be effect, that will affect to the other units as well, right? So they have to learn this one properly, but don't take that much serious. Okay? Ah, so if you have any doubts, any time you can ask. I will help you, right? And do the homeworks that I am giving. Okay? So today I am after the class. I will put the homework, homework sheet. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow I will upload the homework sheet. Do the homework and uh, daily upload that one to the WhatsApp group or privately, and uh, we can uh, smoothly. Finish these things. Okay. So my target is before you your school started, I want to finish the first unit. That target is very difficult. Uh, but let's see. I want to cover everything. I won't miss at least one. Right. Okay. Now uh, back to the topic. Is com is chemistry going to be very difficult? No, no, no. Who said that chemistry is difficult? I told you that chemistry is really easy. right don't think that cathode ray experiment is the chemistry the cathode ray experiment ekane me chemistry ke lage yanne hari meka nikan experiment ekak vitarai meken prashna ahanne ekak vitaran de 2013 pasen meken prashna ettet ne you don't have any questions from the cathode ray tube after 2017 new syllabus right so they have just learned the theories that's so don't worry subject is really easy okay when you go for the organic chemistry physical chemistry inorganic chemistry you will you will find these things are very interesting and you can do them easily don't worry we have methods right i will teach you the methods right now topic back to the topic experiments conducted by experiments conducted by jjt conducted by jj thompson on cathode rays i told you that uh, cathode rays actually uh, jj thompson is the biggest uh, idiot 
sir don't tell like that okay sir don't tell like that why you are insulting those people since they are only actually we are learning these kind of inter interesting subjects so therefore don't insult them ah okay sir very sorry yeah i won't insult you after hum khud ke na jaise tum sir see experiments conducted by jj thompson on cathode ray the first one the very first experiment right let's go one by one the very first experiment is he has taken the cathode ray tube again in this way right i'll draw the cathode ray tube again so today you have to draw some diagrams with me okay is kind of in this right and uh, this is the cathode when you are drawing these things nicely draw okay right you can draw better than me because my drawings are actually completely out out of this world right okay understood so what was your school what is your school my school is actually ds serana college kalam What was your all over research, sir? First try three S yes, because I didn't work properly. Second try uh, two B one C. Third try one A two B. This A is for chemistry, and I entered for the University of Colombo, and I did chemistry. So that's how uh, chemistry was my uh, subject. <laughs> when I when I'm explaining the subject, I'm normally talking these types of. because you want to know about your teacher as well and how he did this subject and how he expertized in this subject so you also get some experience from it okay right you will learn many more things in future right now this is the cathode cathode is negatively charged right this is the negatively charged cathode and this is the positively charged anode so why anode is this much closer to the cathode so we have to ask that from jj thompson right so he will answer right let's see so this is actually perforated anode what does mean by perforated anode perforated anode means at the center we have a hole inside the anode we have a hole just imagine anode is a metal plate a circular metal plate so at the middle of the circular metal plate we have a hole so that's why we are giving perforated anode huh? so i will write here perforated anode perforated anode okay that means inside the layer at the middle we have a hole big hole right now i'm not going to uh, mention the high voltage source those things again because you know that anyway if you are conducting the cathode ray experiment we have to supply the high voltage so therefore i am not going to mention those things again because the diagram is becoming again complex okay so let's uh, finish this one very simple way right so try to understand we have connected these two metal plates where yeah. to what high voltage source so this tip also connected to the high voltage source in this way. okay right ah now look at this one what this person has did J.J. Thompson, he kept another two metal plates in the part of cathode ray tube, right? What he has done, he has kept again two metal plates in the part of the cathode rays. Ah, uh, in the part of the cathode rays, he has kept another two metal plates. This is negatively charged, and this is positively charged. 
remember if you have a negatively charged metal plate and positively charged metal plate here so this is an electric field so what he has done the first experiment under the first experiment what the jj thomson did jj thomson did created created jj thomson created an electric field okay an electric field <laughs> sorry J.J. Thomson created an electric field in the path of cathode rays. In the path of the cathode rays. Right? So, what happened here? Look at this. We know that from the cathode, cathode rays are emitting. Eh? These are the cathode rays. Right? These are the cathode rays we can see in this way. Cathode rays are emitting from the cathode. Now, here we have perforated anode. Uh, this is the path of the, now this is the hole. I told you, I will uh, construct a path. why these dotted lines what you are trying to say why these dotted lines why these dotted lines jj thompson created an electric field by keeping two metal plates from the opposite side of the cathode ray tube he created an electric field and he used perforated anode and let cathode rays pass through the anode right now these cathode rays are coming out of the hole in the anode and what will happen as you think what will happen what should happen cathode rays are deflecting towards the positive tip of the electric field can you understand can you understand what's happening what is the experiment conducted by jj thompson he kept two metal plates, right? We can write this one, charge electrodes. These are charge electrodes. By keeping charge electrodes, he tried to make an electric field. So this is electric field. This is electric field, right? And this is anode and cathode. This is the anode. And this is the cathode, right? Now, he observed that through this hole of the anode, these cathode rays are passing and suddenly deflected towards the positive tip of the electric field. Students, tell me honestly your idea. What is the conclusion that J.J. Thompson should take? Just imagine you are the J.J. Thompson. If you were the J.J. Thompson, after seeing this observation, what is the conclusion that you will have? What is the conclusion you will get there? Answer me in the chat box. What is the conclusion you will get? Ask J.J. Thompson. Let's see. Yeah. Last me. Uh, okay, yeah, you are correct. Good. What about the others? Yeah, correct. Ashani, correct. Others? Ah, yeah. Good. 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 Very good. Imani, good. Aditya, good. Right. Very good. Remember? Yeah. Senura, yeah. Positive terminal, yeah. Positive terminal because the conclusion is cathode rays are negatively charged. Remember, the conclusion is cathode rays are negatively charged. Can you understand what I'm saying? Right? He observed that these rays are de deviating, deflecting towards the positivity. So, experimental conclusion is 
cathode rays are what? Negatively charged. That is the conclusion. So I can write conclusion. What is the conclusion? Conclusion is cathode rays, cathode rays are negatively charged. Cathode rays are negatively charged. Cathode rays are negatively charged. So that's the conclusion from this experiment. Look at this one. So this is, remember, this is a very important discovery. Yeah? Don't think that this is not uh, that much important. J.J. Thompson realized that cathode rays are negatively charged by conducting this experiment. Next. Right? You know that electrons are also negatively charged. If someone is negatively charged, that should attract it towards the positive one. In the electric field, this is the positive tip. So towards the positive tip, these cathode rays, these cathode rays deflected towards the positive tip. Can you understand? So therefore, conclusion is cathode rays are negatively charged. Try to understand. Okay, that's the conclusion. You know the experiment that conducted by JJ Thompson. You know the observation. Observation is cathode rays deflected towards the positive tip. And the conclusion is cathode rays are negatively charged. Let's summarize the three main uh, experiment later. After learning these three experiments, I'm going to summarize these three. Right? I will let you know. Uh, let's get a summary at the end of the class. Okay. So in every class, we are getting the summary. Electric field. Electric field means you know that. From positive, here we have positive, and here we have negative. So positive, negative, two tips are there. Positive tips and negative tip. So this is an electric field. We know that gravitational field is there, magnetic field is there. What? Electric field is there. If we, if we keep magnetic field, that means North Pole and South Pole here. Here, these cathode rays are deviating, deflecting perpendicularly. We are going to discuss that one also. So electric field means Positive metal plate, negative metal plate. So we have two charge poles. So toward the positive pole, these cathode rays are def deflected. That's all. Very easy. Okay. How did the how did it discover the no, not yet. Not yet they discovered these are electrons. They didn't discover yet. These are electrons. Wait. Don't be hurried. Uh, let's see. Uh, first of all, write down experiment number one. Draw this diagram using a red pen. Write down the conclusion. Using a red pen. Quickly. Write down the conclusion using a red pen.
actually the aid that we get from michael faraday's experiment experiment is the basic fundamental particle in electricity is that's what thing is michael faraday has conducted a lot of experiments regarding electricity before uh, the cathode ray experiment so don't try to make a connection between uh, the uh, this cathode ray experiment and uh, michael faraday so then still haven't the found a way to how electrons passes in gas field remember actually uh, they have a method they have a method that current electricity passes through the gaseous medium you know that remember when you uh, look at a circuit current electricity passes through positive to negative here these radiations actually pass through negative to positive are these cathode rays current electricity are these radiations current electricity no right definitely from anode to cathode there should be a current because gaseous state is also passing the current under some certain conditions they can measure that one using some exp may what some instruments we have some sen sensitive instrument using those instrument they can measure the current so current is the now our our concern is not in current electricity whether the current electricity passes through the gaseous medium our concern is what are these cathode rays what are these radiation types emitted from cathode towards the end understood they have several methods actually they had several methods to find whether the current electricity passes through the gaseous medium this is one of the method actually they conducted so this is also proving that current electricity passes because we have anode here from anode to cathode positive to negative current passes okay understood so they can use several instrument to find it but this is actually sudden accident i told you right this is this was an accident they thought that something will happen from anode to cathode but they observed that something happened from cathode to anode right conclusion from michael faraday's experiment so one of you asking that what is the conclusion of michael faraday's experiment previously michael faraday conducted several experiments to find out whether current electricity passes through the solid medium and liquid medium he found that current electricity passes through the liquid medium that was the conclusion from his experiment so he conducted several experiment right so we have a unit known as michael meme electrochemistry under that also we are learning faraday law the first law of faraday second law of faraday likewise we are learning there are a lot of uh, experiments now we are good not going to discuss them because if i explain plain you that one you won't understand that part faraday law faraday law is really a bit complex here not that much complex but when you come to the electric chemistry you will realize how much easy it is to study uh right what are the experiments of michael faraday yeah that's what i told you michael faraday conducted whether the current electricity pass through the liquid medium and he observed that liquid medium is passing the current from this one actually they tried to check whether the gaseous medium passed the current electricity but it was an accident they accidentally they observed the observation was completely different so therefore they went for the observation they got cathode rays now the topic has completely changed understood gas the gaseous state is also causing the current so later they discovered that so that is none of our business right how they discovered what are the instrument they have used so we don't have to 
go through that one, right? So if you want to go through that one, then go to the YouTube and search how that they found that uh, with the yes, yes, state mark the current in the physical. Right? Our topic is cathode ray tube. The, so the experiments we discussed are JJ Thompson. Yeah. So the experiments conducted by JJ Thompson, right? These are the experiments are conducted by JJ Thompson. Right. Okay. Next thing. Shall we go for the experiment number two? Students, shall we go for the experiment number two? Mm -hmm. Shall I erase this one? Do you have, sorry, do you have any doubts regarding this? If you have any doubts, you are so welcome. Anytime you are welcome, you can ask your doubts. I will help you. Okay. I cannot read sometimes. Sometimes I will miss your uh, messages, but later you can ask me. So why they cannot conduct the uh, electricity by that experiment uh, from this experiment? No, we cannot from the previous experiment and this experiment, we cannot uh, conclude that. Gas state past the current electricity. We can conclude in this way: if the electron flow is there, then current will flow for the opposite direction. We can conclude in that way. But still, we don't know the cathode rays are in So therefore, at that particular time, we cannot conclude that current passes through the gases. But later, I know that we can understand that later they could have found that for an to the good. Current is possible because later they found these cathode rays are none other than electrons. Okay. Uh, are these diagrams included in Sir's tube and explanation? In my tube, explanation, not that much of explanation. You have to listen to the explanation. I haven't given you the diagram also because diagrams you have to go. If I give you everything in the tutorial, is it work? Understood. I have given you something, right? So if I uh, see this, hey, this is the tutorial. In this way, I have given you some spaces. Right? So here you have to draw the you to write the paragraph, you have to draw the diagrams, right? In this way. My tutorials are very simple. Okay. I'm not including diagrams because diagrams you have to draw. So, our diagrams and scientists' pictures and everything, sometimes I have included that in the tutorial. So, this is actually the diagram of atom. Okay. So, this is the diagram of atom. And who is this? Do you know who is this? Who is this person? Anyone? Look at the name on the photo. Not Sandeep Prasad. Huh? Look at the name that they have given in white color. What is the name? Wait, you tell me, will you? What is the name? What is the name of the scientist? Can't you see? Rutherford, that is Rutherford, okay. Uh, shall I show you JJ Thompson? This is JJ Thompson, this person. This one is the JJ Thompson, okay. So when you get the tutorial, you will see that. Right, okay. I will give you the diagram. Actually, you have to draw the diagrams with me. As a chemistry student, you should be able to draw the diagrams. You should know how to write the point-wise paragraphs. As a chemistry student, you should know. Right? Most of the time, I'm writing everything on the whiteboard because that's my habit. I can nicely draw in the whiteboard. No, not draw. I can nicely write in the whiteboard. Drawings, actually, I'm practicing it because my drawings are not perfect yet, right? but quite good. Right? Because uh, we need to write everything. Remember students, in my A-level time, actually I realized that, that I'm talking about my, myself, I realized that when I'm writing something actually, that will go to my mind uh, easily. 
I can memorize that one easily. Okay. So I used to write down everything. Summary of the lesson. Right. Look at the homework today. I'm going to give you. Right. You will wonder. Let's see how many of you will give the homework. How many of you will send the homework? Right. Let's see. Yeah. I think in the group, uh, there are thirty or yeah, thirty or thirty-one students. I think. For today's session, now how many? Twenty-six are there. So out of thirty, how many will uh, send the homework? Let's see. Yeah. Right. Let's see your seriousness. You are what? Uh, you are very dedicated. Ne? At the beginning, you are very dedicated. I'm not demotivating demotivating you. Right. You should keep this dedication, sacrificing, and everything. Until the end, but we have seen that most of the students actually they don't have that dedication and all those uh, what things at the middle. Some of the people actually what ah uh, doubt about this. So can I do this one after finishing three four units? They are telling that sir, I'm going to do the private. I'm not going to do in school. I'm asking why. So I don't have time. You are lying. You are lying to yourself. First of all, be honest for yourself. Okay. Please be honest for yourself. Then only you can achieve. If you are honest to yourself, you know your target. What is the target you have to go? You know about yourself, and easily you can identify your mistakes. If you are not honest, you can never identify your mistakes. Not it. I'm sharing with you these things because we also same, we also face the same situations like you. We also came from the same situations like you. So therefore, remember, students, the sad truth is actually all of the most of the students, that means all of you are not going to get yes. But that's perfectly all right, sir. We came here to get capital A, three A's. You are you are telling that all of you won't get three A's, and then you are telling that that is perfectly all right. You, why is that, sir? That's not fair, Ani. Your story is very wrong, Mason. Listen to me very carefully. I told you that's the truth, actually. Right? I'm very happy if my all the students. Just imagine I have hundred of students. If all these hundred of students can get three A's, I am the one who will be happy than others, because hundred of students who have studied from me has got three A's and they have entered for the university for engineering, medicine, physical science, bio science, art, architecture, everything. So I will be the person will be very happy. But you know that that won't happen. But my target is everyone to be I, everyone what wanted to go for three years. And one more thing you have to know about me actually, I didn't uh, I don't do tuition for the meters. You know there are two types of students in Elon State: meters and motors. Actually, I don't want to teach for meters. Meters means actually they have a bone talent. They will suddenly get things like this. Within milliseconds, they will get these things. Sometimes, by referring the books, actually they will do the exchange. They have that much of power of mind. We don't have to teach. But there are some lot of average students. I am teaching for them. Godak kinnna lamai saaman ne lamai. Ekane saaman ne lamai ke lekane saaman ne dakshata di na lamai. ोलो But mainly for average students, because average students are the majority. Majority, I will average. 
ඔයගලන්ගෙන් ගොඩක් කට්ටිය මැක්ස් බයෝ තෝරගන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ට කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා දන්නවා you know that i have that capability to do bio and maths that's why you came now again we know that some of the students are coming after the result of o level examination as well for them again we are starting as a new batch group 2 and we are going a little bit fast and we are going to combine both the group uh, for the class right so remember Most of you are average student, so you should be able to what? I will help you. We have a plan for that. We are going through that plan. So today we started that plan actually. I will explain all the theories properly. I will mention everything in the white book. Don't worry. I won't miss anything. I will give you homework. I will conduct your perfect class paper class properly. I will discuss past paper questions. So within three hours per week, how do you conduct the past papers? We can go through the recordings and we can do those things. Okay. So all you have, what you have to do is what? Follow our plan. That's all. You don't have to do anything. You just go through the our plan. That's all. First of all, believe in yourself. I can do that. And get it done. Salaamu Alaikum. Again, I have faith. Again, I am going to make a difference. Again, I am going to make a difference. Subject, do not make a difference. Give the contribution for all these subjects equally. So, my favorite subject is physics. My favorite subject is chemistry. My favorite is combined maths, biology. Don't be that kind of a child. Okay, or come out from that childish mentality. Okay, now you are a little bit mature. Now your age is, I think, seventeen. Why is it that that age? That age, young people, that age. Then you are looking at the age. But what is the age? The age of the people. 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 When you try your maximum, right? Don't worry. If you can try your maximum, don't worry. Whatever the result you come, you have to accept that one, and you have to go to the universities, or you have to make your work. It's not all about engineering and medicine. I told you last week. Engineering and medicine, how much money do I get? Matter. Okay, what you should have. We are trying. Okay, but remember, you have alternative paths. Right? Don't worry. Always believe in yourself. Right? Okay. Now, so uh, second experiment. Let's go for the second experiment. Now, in the second experiment, let's see what will happen. So, how do I find my maximum? Uh, actually, how do I tell you that? How I do? I'm not uh, actually. I don't know you actually. <laughs> I just know your name. So, how do you find your maximum? Uh, right. I'll tell you. Uh, this is the way, actually. How do you find your maximum? Just take one week from the next week. Can you remember the way that you have worked for your O level? How many hours you have worked for your O level time? Put in the chat box how many hours you have worked. All of you, when the O level examination is close, very close, how many hours you worked? Last few days, yeah. I'm asking about last few days, yeah. How many hours you worked? Twelve hours. Wow, good, very good. Ten hours. Ten. You were in the finals. Ten hours, five or six hours. Ten hours. Okay, right. Okay, good. So that was your maximum, ne? Before the last few days, did you work in that thing? Ah, ah, some of you fifteen hours. Good, very good. Ah, when the examination getting closer, then only you work. Understood? Examination ne ka langguna hamatamay ho vadagaran na padangatti. 
एक नहीं तो आगे मैक्सिमम में क्या? वो यार एलएलआर टकराने नहीं तो क्या बताएं? इतना खाली वो यार मैक्सिमम में क्या देंगे वो दान वो यार कि मैक्सिमम में मुकाद दिखेगा वो एलएलआर को तरीन देना तरकर करे ऐसे दाहिने पड़े करे। You have worked ten hours in your all over time period. That is you are reason maximum. Correct नहीं था? Am I correct or not? Tell me. That was your reason maximum. और तो मांगे प्रश्न है भी सेनुरा नहीं था? Am I correct or not? Correct. That was your reason maximum. Ah, now start from there actually. Then you can achieve three years, right? Because remember, some of the students are working eighteen hours. Do you believe me? I am not asking you to do eighteen hours. Twelve hours are enough for you. For now, actually, six hours are enough per day. But that's not your maximum. You have to identify your maximum. Anne born ne na tu ni da gan ne tu ada gan lamai ni tin. Eh magila rank da na lamai ni tin. Eka i ting eka individual lamai agi eka hehe. Alshu. Right. So that depending. Right. So since you ask the your maximum, so that's the way you can identify your maximum. Right. Second experiment. Let's go for the second experiment. Right. Oh. Right. We have. Uh, Nearly one more. We have to finish this one. Okay. Second experiment conducted by J J Thompson. The second experiment was very interesting. Why? That experiment was very very interesting because uh, he has used a metal cross. Normally, uh. we know that uh, in greece in europe there are a lot of uh, christians ne so that's the ancient uh, religion ne so therefore most of the people used to wear a metal cross that means a cross you know that if you are if you are christian you know that one is cross so he used that one in this way we got the diagram right <laughs> so this is the cathode ray tube that he has used for this one so me mokadde me me cathode ray tube begena me me gena gasla bogedi ekak gena hari this ah huh? so cathode ray tube actually can be in uh, several shapes okay not always that uh, particular shape that we use in the previous experiment it can be in any shape i will tell you why they have they use this kind of a apple shape okay or oh, avocado shape i'll tell you the reason ha huh? just listen will you the experiment so students uh, this is the cathode right cathode and then what they have done they have kept a metal cross in front of the cathode j j thompson he has kept a metal cross in front of the cathode right if you are christian you know that shape you know this shape metal cross right and then he has connected the anode to this one right so this is cathode negatively charged cathode negatively charged and this is positively charged anode so this anode only they have connected this metal cross i will name this one as metal cross right so likewise uh, we can uh, put the high voltage source and everything we can put them okay so i'm not going to mention them always we can put them right now actually uh, this is in this way like we cannot draw that one in the three dimensional this is not two uh, 3d plane this is 2d plane so therefore i have to flip this one in this way and we have to show this actually 
the metal draws in is in this way, right? So we cannot draw that one. So therefore, I will take in this way. I will take it. Okay. Now, what will happen, students? What will happen? Sorry. So uh, same thing, same thing happened. From the cathode side, cathode rays are emitting. From the cathode side, cathode rays are emitting in this way. From the cathode side, cathode rays are emitting. Very interesting thing happened. Can anyone tell me what happened actually? This is a metal cross. Cathode rays are emitting from the cathode. What is the observation? Shadow. Good, very good. A shadow. A sharp shadow. A sharp shadow at the opposite side of the cathode ray tube. Can you understand? This is the sharp shadow. The exact shadow of the metal object, metal cross, you can see that one opposite side of the glass tube. This is the shadow of the metal cross. Shadow of metal cross. With sharp lines, exact image. Right, sharp lines. Shadow of metal cross with sharp lines. Same size, same size. If you want to take any large one, if you want to take large one, you can take that one also. Uh, can you understand why they have used this kind of a shape for here? If you want to take a large shadow than this, we have to see that shadow properly. Uh, that's why they have used this kind of a glass tube. Can you understand? I told you and I will tell you the reason. The reason that they, can, they have used this kind of a shape is they need to see, sometimes they need to see that a large shadow. Can you understand? Right? If you want, they can small the object. They can small the image. We can use, for the cathode, cathode we can use conve concave lens, or the convex lens. You know the ray diagrams that you have drawn in your all level time. From that one, we can what reduce or increase the size of the image. Uh, that's why they have used this kind of a got it. Can you understand what I'm saying? Shadow, exact shadow, mirror image, image of the object. That is the observation. Now tell me, students, what was the conclusion? Now you are JJ Thompson. You have tripped an object in front of the cathode ray tube and the opposite side of the glass tube. You can see the image. What is the conclusion? So uh, let's see how many JJ Thompsons are there. Just it rotate. Oh my God. Yeah, Diani, uh, Diani, I'm sorry. Correct, you are correct. Yeah, correct. Correct. Avisha, correct. Good, very good. Your answers are correct. So you can, you can have a conclusion. You can conclude that these cathode rays travel in a straight line like light. When you go outside in a sunny day, right? In a sunny day, when you go outside, you can see your image. Why? What is the reason? Sunlight is coming. Sunlight is colliding with the object. So you are the object. Then you can see the image. So because they are traveling a straight line, you can see the exact image. You can see the exact sharp, you are sharp, exact sharp image that gives the correct shape. So actually, when the cathode rays are moving here and there randomly, we cannot have this kind of a shape. We cannot have this kind of a shadow. Can you understand what I'm saying? 
if the cathode rays are traveling randomly for every direction, how we can have this kind of uh, exact image of this uh, method? Size are also same. Then you can understand this cathode rays, cathode rays travel in a straight line. Neither. Cathode rays travel in a straight line, like light. On the conclusion, write down the conclusion. What is the conclusion? We can write the conclusion. Cathode rays travels, cathode ray travels, cathode rays travel in a straight line. Straight line. Like cathode rays travel in a straight line. Like light. Understood? Like light. So that was that is the conclusion. Okay. okay. Cathode rays travel in a straight line like light. That is the conclusion of this experiment. Try to understand. This is very important now. Try to understand. He has kept a metal cross. And from the next opposite direction of the glass tube, you can see the exact Im image. Same size. Exact shadow. That means they are traveling in a straight line. Like light. So that was the conclusion on the second experiment conducted by JJT. Any doubts? So what is the cathode, a mirror or lens? Cathode is not mirror or lens. Cathode is just a metal which is producing electrons, cathode rays. I'm telling you here, cathode rays actually what? Behaving as light because they are traveling in a straight line. These are not lenses actually. Right? Cathode ray is actually just a metal. Understood? Okay, neither. Just a metal we are using. Any other doubts? Anything else you want to ask from me? Nothing. Wow. You don't have any doubts means you are very talented. Don't you have doubts? So if we want to get a larger shadow, what we should do? Uh, we can use a lens, convex or con concave lens. We can use a lens. That means lens means lens means a concave shape cathode or convex shape cathode. From that one, you can get the large shadow or small shadow. Okay, not the lenses. Okay, concave shape cathode or convex shape cathode. Uh, falling beyond anode. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, don't worry. Anode won't interfere for the, this image. Anode won't interfere for this image because anode is connected to this metal cross now. This metal cross. So now metal cross is look like anode. So therefore, some of the cathode rays are colliding with the anode, and the remaining cathode rays are passing. That's how we get the image. Anode won't interfere for that one. Does this have any connection to light? Uh, the only connection to light is cathode rays behave as light. That's the only connection, right? So from this one, we can understand that cathode rays have wave nature. Neither. Cathode rays have wave nature. In future lessons, in future parts, subtopics, we are going to discuss about the duality nature of electron. Duality nature of electron means cathode rays or the electrons can behave as waves as well as particles. Cathode rays or electrons have wave nature as well as particle nature. In this experiment, under the conclusion, you can write if you want, cathode rays behave as waves. That's what's correct. Because if it is a wave, you can see like light, we can have this kind of a straight line path and we can have the shadow. That's also conclusion. Understood? Okay.
some of the good questions are there right i really appreciate them right this is the second experiment quickly note down let's move to the third experiment after the third experiment uh, let's watch a video that demonstrate these uh, three experiments okay quickly uh, draw this Sir, do the rays pass through the metal cross? No. Rays won't pass through the metal cross. I have seen a good question like this. I will read this question because others also can uh, know it. So therefore, I will read these questions. Why did Thompson want to know whether the cathode rays travel like light or not? The reason is at the beginning in the experiment, you know that they saw some radiations. Thomson want to know whether these are exactly radiations or waves or particles. Electrons are particles. Ne? These cathode rays, are they particles or radiations? Are they particulate or radiations? Waves. That's why he conducted this kind of experiment. In the third experiment, you will understand J.J. Thompson has conducted that experiment in order to check whether these cathode rays can do a work. That means whether these electrons are particulate or not. In the second experiment, they have wave nature, that means radiation-like nature. In the third experiment, J.J. Thompson concluded that cathode rays are particulate. That's why I talk about the duality nature. If you want to write down somewhere, write down, put a note and write down, Duality nature of electrons. Duality nature of electron means cathode rays or electrons can behave as waves as well as particles. Electrons have wave nature as well as particulate nature that is known as duality nature of electrons. He want to know whether these cathode rays or the electrons are waves or particles. But finally, he concluded that both the nature is there. Understood? That's a good question, no? Very good question. I think uh, you got the answer for your question. Understood? Sir, is this the process occurring in cathode ray tubes screens of TV? Uh, no, 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 no. This is not that one. Don't confuse it there. Is it over? I think uh, in TV we have crystal ray tubes. Is that cathode ray? I, I don't know. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. Sir, here also, do, you, do they use helium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helium like neutral gases. 
the wave nature of electrons are proved by the double slip experiment, right? Yeah, yeah, double slit experiment and everything actually they conducted those things later. Ne? Double slit experiments and all those things they conducted later. So still they didn't identify what are these cathode rays. They are conducting, they are conducting experiments to find identify what are these cathode rays. I use the term electrons because anyway, later they are going to find this one as electrons. They are doing the experiments on cathode rays. So they want to name, know whether these are exactly radiations or particles. Okay. Who asked that doubt? I think. Uh, Inuji, Inuji Rodrigo, can you understand what I'm saying? Can you understand what I'm trying to point out? Cathode rays, okay, I'm going to talk about cathode rays. Sir, by considering what did the JJ Thompson cloud with the electrons behave as waves? Sir, by considering what did JJ Thompson concluded that the electrons behave as waves? Cathode rays from the second experiment. Cathode rays travel in a straight line like light. Light are also waves, ne? are there for cathode rays also waves. And then what else we have? Uh, okay. I saw that uh, a name actually, B. Sandhi. Who is that? Today I watched the list also, your names and everything. Uh, my name is also there. That means someone is there in this session who has my name. Sandhi. What is your full name? Sandhi, what is your full name? Who is that? P. Sandhi. Can I know your name? Okay, right. Only Sandeep, sir. Only Sandeep. Only Sandeep. How the only Sandeep? Maybe you are lying. Okay, let's see. Right, okay. Number three, third experiment. Let's go for the third experiment. Did you complete this one? Do you have any doubts? Now uh, we are going to move for the third experiment. In the third experiment, we are going to discuss about uh, what did uh, JJ Thompson do? Mainly, I am focusing on three experiments. There are some other experiments conducted by JJ Thompson, but mainly we have to discuss three experiments. Okay. So this is the last important experiment that we have discussed.
So this is the class G. Here, J.J. Thompson has used a paddle wheel. What do you mean paddle wheel? Paddle wheel is a single again. It's a single again. It's a single again. It's a single again. It's a single again. So this is kind of a paddle wheel. Right? Kind of a paddle wheel. A wheel that is rotating. That can rotate. So this can rotate, huh? this can be rotated. Now, remember this is the negatively charged cathode. I told you that cathode rate you can be in the different form. So this is cathode. And this is positively charged at negatively charged cathode and positively charged at. Now cathode rays are emitting from the cathode, from the cathode side. Cathode rays are emitting in this way. From the cathode side, cathode rays are emitting. So what will happen when the cathode rays are emitting from the cathode side? These cathode rays are colliding with the paddle wheel. When the cathode rays are colliding with the paddle wheel, what will happen? What will happen actually? Can anyone tell me? When the cathode rays are colliding with this paddle wheel, what should happen? I need your ideas. Answer me. Rotate. Good, very good. Your answers are correct. Yeah, good, correct, very good. Remember, this paddle wheel started to rotate. This paddle wheel started to rotate towards the anode. This paddle wheel started to rotate towards the anode. What is the conclusion? So JJ Thompson has conducted this kind of experiment. Cathode is there, anode is there. At the middle of this cathode ray path, he has uh, kept this kind of a paddle wheel rotating uh, what some kind of a uh, So paddle wheel is started to rotate. Then what will happen? What is the conclusion? The conclusion is a kind of energy in cathode rays. Cathode rays can do a work by applying a force. This is a force, right? Why this paddle wheel started to rotate? Because these cathode rays are applying a force. That means cathode rays can do a work. It has a mass, it has a momentum. And uh, then, as I mentioned you before, cathode rays are what? Particulates. Cathode rays are particles. Understood? In the previous experiment, I told you that cathode rays have wave nature because they travel in a straight line like light. Now I told you that cathode rays are particulate. It can do a work. It has a momentum. It has a mass. You understand? Right? Cathode rays are particle. It can be. That is the conclusion of this experiment. <laughs> cathode rays are particulate. Cathode rays are particle. Articulator go body. It can do a work and it has a momentum. 
it can do a work and it has a model. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Any doubts? No, Thompson, Thompson wanted to find in wanted to find the duality nature. He is actually his target was. to find the nature of his target was to find the nature of these plateau trees right he was not in the intention he didn't that in uh, he didn't have any intention to find duality nature okay later only we we gave the name duality nature just he observed some green color radiations he conducted every experiments as much as possible he can do neither mokakkara alutin deyak hambuna eka diha balan eka diha eka balana vidiyak thiyena ne eka puddgela balana angle eka wenas we can see the cathode rays from different angles because we need to find the properties what are the things actually right understood so they found that they have particle nature and wave nature they didn't have what they just wanted to know that whether these things are particles or not if not waves that's all right actually we don't know why jj thompson thought like that we have to ask that from from that from jj thompson right uh, shall we ask shall we write a letter shall we make a call for thompson right shall i give you the number let's ask from thompson 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 why did you choose to do this experiment you are me experimenting right so actually that was in actually from this one it actually he took if thompson no those are cathode rays are harmful as they were no 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 cathode rays are not that much harmful Cathode rays are not harmful, yeah. This glass shaped. Ah, yeah. So at this instance, the cathode rays uh, can only do a work, and uh, as a moment, we uh, see the correct observation. Yeah, that's the correct observation. No observation is uh, called the charin. Yeah, charin. Now uh, observation is uh, this paddle wheel started to rotate towards the anode. That was the observation. Conclusion is. Cathode rays are particulate. It can do a work. It has a moment because it has a mass. Okay. Uh, did Thomson know those are electrons? No, not yet. Not yet, na. Huh? Let's see how did they find that these are electrons. What is the name of the square shaped thing around the paddle wheel? Ah, uh, that's kind of a what? Ah, uh, some kind of a surface. Ah, uh, that will help to uh, rotate the paddle wheel. and uh, next thing so is this of course a metal if so should uh, get in it one that's not a metal cross here this is actually just started to uh, this is a kind of a metal the metal metal wheel which is made by metal okay and uh, we have specifications so for what are the properties of cathode rays properties of cathode rays cathode rays can travel like light they can uh, what deviate to the deflected towards the positivity that means cathode rays are negatively charged and next one is cathode rays are particulate and there are two properties additional to these two experiment may addition to these three experiments we can uh, consider that cathode rays can ionize Ionize the atoms. 
cathode rays can penetrate through some medium. So those are the properties of cathode rays. Cathode rays can uh, penetrate through some uh, what? Thin metal plates and uh, they can ionize some metals, atoms in gases. Those are the properties. Sir, can a cathode have both positive and negative charges? Uh, cathode have both positive and negative. Cathode have only negative charge because we are connecting the voltage source for the negative side as the cathode, positive side the, uh, as the end. Therefore, that's always should be negative side when we are conducting this. Okay, good. I'm very happy with my students because uh, some of you asked me a lot of doubts. That's the way of learning. Since this is the first day, actually, I'm giving a uh, time to answer for your questions. But later, we will uh, reduce the time to answering your questions. We'll keep the doubts at the end of the class. That means last five minutes, 10 minutes. Last, that means uh, after 11 also, you can stay and ask your doubts. So today also, I will conduct the lesson up until 12, 11. After 11, if you, if you want to ask doubts, stay. Ask your doubts and clear, and then leave. Okay, that's the way. Because we have to manage the time as well. We have to have the lesson goes on it, right? Right. Okay. Anything else you want to ask? Now time is ten thirty. So today my uh, target was completed. I want to discuss uh, these cathode ray experiments actually. But uh, we didn't come to the point yet. What the point? Cathode rays are electrons. We didn't come to that point yet. Okay. Wait. These are the properties of cathode rays. What are the properties? They are negatively charged. They can uh, travel in a straight line like light. Cathode rays can do a work. That means they are particulate. Cathode rays can penetrate through a metal plate. Those two, this, those, those, that one is additional. And uh, cathode rays can ionize gaseous state. Remember this five properties because one of you asked me. So normally I will give these questions as homework you have to complete. Okay? So since one of you asked me that one, I gave you the answer. Right. Now uh, let's go for uh, a video that uh, demonstrate these three practicals. So I'll share my screen. Wait a minute. I'll show you a video. Yeah, one of you asking again, uh, what are the cathode ray properties, characters? Write down. What are the properties of cathode rays? Number one, cathode rays are negatively charged. Number two, cathode rays travel in a straight line, like light. If you want, write down quickly. Properties or characters, characteristic properties of cathode rays. Cathode rays are negatively charged. Cathode rays travel in a straight line like light. Cathode rays are particulate. Cathode rays can penetrate through a thin metal plate. Cathode rays can penetrate through a thin metal plate. Number five, cathode rays can ionize gaseous vapor. Those are the properties of cathodes. So I assume that the properties of cathode rays are the same properties of electrons. Yeah, that's not an assumption. That's the exact truth. Energy, that's the exact truth.
students uh, can you see my screen students can you see my screen good now uh, remember now i'm going to uh, uh, watch play a video look at this video properly and understand what's happening there okay i'll explain when the video is playing i'll explain everything and if you have any doubts you are doubts into the chat box and i will explain your doubts again okay because let's learn today the first part cathode ray experiment properly and uh, let's cover this one here after we don't have to uh, discuss this one anymore right Okay, I'll uh, play the video, look at the video properly, analyze the video properly. While the uh, video is going, I will explain if it is necessary. Okay, watch the video. So this is John Dalton, right? Atomic theory of matter found by uh, John Dalton, 1808. Okay. So look at these names actually, me. look at this name. These are the names actually, some of the names I have explained today. John Dalton, Atomic Theory of Matter, Michael Faraday, Electric Nature of Matter, and uh, William Crookes, Conduction of Electricity Through Gases. I told you that he uh, prepared the, he invented the cathode ray experiment. And Eugene Goldstein, we are going to discuss uh, about the uh, protons, and there you will learn uh, who is Eugene Goldstein. And JJ Thompson is there, Properties of Cathode Rays. He did conducted some experiment. Robert Millikan, charge of an electron. James Chadwick, the one who discovered the neutron. We are going to discuss all these things. Okay, right. Remember these names. Right. Okay. Now let's go for the cathode ray tube. So you can see this is the cathode ray tube. Look at the cathode ray tube. As I mentioned you, this is the high voltage generator. This is the cathode ray tube. So the voltage is actually, uh, as I mentioned you, 10,000 volts. And this is uh, one of the electrodes. These are the two electrodes. And, uh, and uh, one of you asked me that how we can reduce the pressure in it. Okay? Vacuum pump. Using a vacuum pump, we can... Uh, Reduce the pressure inside the tube. Okay, they have used side tube. Using this side tube, they can uh, decrease the pressure inside the vacuum tube. Okay. An electron, right? Did you see that? A green color glow is there from cathode twin. This zinc sulfide is white color. Normally, the fluorescent screen, I told you, cathode rays can be seen using fluorescent screen. Most of the fluorescent screens are made by zinc sulfide. Zinc sulfide is white color compound that is uh, sensible for the radiations. So, therefore, we can see the radiation spots using the zinc sulfide coated sensitive screen, fluorescent screen. We are using this one again in the gold foil experiment uh, in the, under the Rutherford ceramic. Another color. This is the third experiment that we discussed that conducted by J.J. Uh, the paddle wheel started to rotate. Paddle wheel started to rotate towards the anode. Look at that in the wheel. Look at this. We are supplying high voltage source, same as before. Right? And this is the paddle wheel we have. And cathode rays are colliding with the paddle wheel now. Look at this. Uh, started to rotate towards the anode. Understood. Uh, then we can 
confirm that cathode rays are particle there. Okay. And this is gold foil experiment that we will discuss in future. Uh, that was conducted by Ernest Rutherford with his two students, uh, Geiger and Master. Now let's discuss that one. So this experiment showed that cathode rays travel in a straight line. Under that the shadow. So this is the shadow of the metal cross that we can see at the opposite side. Did you see that? Cathode rays are colliding with the metal cross and we can see the shadow. We can see the exact shadow. Look at the diagram. In the diagram, you can see that this is the shadow of the metal cross. Right. Ah, this is the first experiment actually. Look at this one. This is the electric field. As I mentioned you, they have kept two uh, metal plates. This is negatively charged metal plate, the above one, and the below one is the positively charged metal plate. And these cathode rays are deviating towards the positively charged metal plate. And then we can conclude that cathode rays are what? Negatively charged. Right? Normally, when you keep magnetic field, under the magnetic field, these cathode rays are perpendicularly deviating. Okay, not towards the anode. And no, no, it follows out. Let's discuss that one uh, yeah, as a game. So, this shows actually that cathode rays are negatively charged particles other than actually electrons. Let's talk about the mass of an electron uh, charge of an electron. I think I have showed you uh, three major experiments that conducted by Thompson, right? So this is the discovery of uh, protons. So we are not going to discuss that. Okay, right. That's all. <laughs> If you go for the YouTube and uh, if you search cathode ray experiment, you will find the uh, video section. Right. Okay. Now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Any doubts you have? So does radiation has color and uh, so this particular particular green color is forming this way. So remember, radiations don't have colors, right? Visible light has colors because uh, visible light region has actually have color. We can see these cathode rays in green color. I told you previously. We can use a sensitive scale. Using a sensitive screen, when the sensitive screen, sensitive screen is actually coated by zinc sulfide, the compound is zinc sulfide. Zinc sulfide is actually white color. You will learn this one in inorganic chemistry as well. Zinc sulfide is white color, which is sensible for radiations. When the radiations are colliding with that zinc sulfide coated sensitive screen that is known as fluorescent screen. You, you can see these radiations in uh, colored spots. If you use a sensitive screen throughout the path, then you can see these radiations in green color. Don't think that cathode rays are green color. Cathode rays are not green color. Cathode rays can be displayed in green color because of this fluorescent screen. That's all. right. Don't think that it's green color. So does cathode ray pass through the cross to form the shadow in the uh, not through the not through the cross. 
do the cross means actually yeah the radiation sa cathode rays are passing the metal cross passing the metal cross so they are actually what you can see the shadow right so that metal cross is kind of a barrier any right just imagine our shadow when you go outside in a sunny day you can see the shadow you are shadow right so they are for we can consider that what uh passing the object So, if we want to watch cathode rays through fluorescence ray, how we see this straight throughout glass tube? So, what is the name of the screen that we yeah? Remember, this is the glass tube, right? We can make a big fluorescence screen, and we can keep that one behind the glass tube. then you can see the radiations are passing because radiations are sensible for the fluorescence screen we can see that if not we can include fluorescent particles now one of you asked me that what is the name of that one fluoro sent screen fluorescent screen is the one which is sensible for the radiation fluorescence screen fluorescence screen is made by the chemical compound zinc sulfide which is white color therefore fluorescence screen is white color got it fluorescence screen is white color right so so when they were conducting the experiment for the first time to observe whether electricity passes through the gas did they use a sensitive screen because they do observe the green radiation noise at the beginning at the beginning they haven't yeah they may have used a sensitive screen when only we, they can see the what green color radiation sometimes they may use some fluorescent particles in order to see the radiations they think they thought that some of the things can be emitted from there so therefore they thought in that way and they can uh, they could have used that one fluorescent screen yeah that's what But don't think that cathode rays are green color. That's wrong. Anything else? Anything else you want to ask from me? right so if you have any doubts uh, put in the chat box now i am going to uh, now i am going to give you the homework uh you will get another paper small paper piece of paper i will send you the pdf to the whatsapp group and right okay homework this is the way that our homework is working homework work right every day after the class every day after the class we have learned some theories we have learned something throughout these three hours you have to make a simple summary of the each lesson okay you have to make each summary for the day and you have to write down that in your book and you have to send me take a photo and send me you have to do this one honestly i'm not going to force you where are where are your homeworks where are your homeworks i'm going to i'm not going to force you i told you that 
I have a proper work plan. Follow that work plan. Definitely, you can go for a good result. If you don't follow that one, actually, I can't take the responsibility. So therefore, do what I say. Do what I say. Okay, neither. So what is the homework today? The first homework you have to make a summary. For today class, I will make. I will help you to make the summary. The summary that you have to make here today is. We learn three experiments neither regarding the cathode rays. Write down these experiments. That means, what is the experiment, and uh, what are the observations obtained that from those experiments, and uh, write down the conclusions, and send me the table. Experiments. There, are, I told you three experiments: observations and conclusions. Send me the conclusions. So this is the homework. And I gave you some scientist name. Write down those scientist names and keep that in your mind. And what he has done, what is his contribution? Okay, so that's the summary of today's lesson. Right. So next week we are going to discuss about discovery of proton, discovery of neutron. Uh, sometimes we can start atomic nucleus. So this is the homework that you have to do. And apart from this one, I will give you small worksheet, small, very very small worksheet. You have to do. Okay. Uh, right. I cannot give you a homework from this tutorial. Soon after you will get the tutorial, I will give you homework from this. Okay. So can you understand the homework, all of you? Every day you have to summarize the homework. Huh? Listen. Uh, sir, should we write in a separate paper? Follow a book for my class. You have to follow a book. You have the. You will have the tutorial, but uh, addition to that one, follow a book. Don't write those things in paper, right? You can follow a book, a small book. Should we draw, draw diagrams in summary? No need, no need. But if you are like to draw the diagrams, I don't say anything. If you want to draw, draw. Okay, that's up to you. And then you're asking, uh, sir, do the cathode rays glow emit some kind of light? If not, how does the shadow form on the screen when the cathode rays path pass through the metal cross? So do cathode rays glow emit some kind of light? If not, remember, cathode rays are radiations. Cathode rays are radiations. Waves. They have wave nature. They are radiations. So therefore, when we when they are exposing to the when the object is exposing to the cathode rays, some kind of radiations, you can see the image. I'm always asking you to compare the cathode rays with the light, sunlight. Gitam no kabo tak iraeli again. Can you understand? Cathode rays also the same way. Only three experiments. So the, we discuss all five experiments related to the cathode. Only three experiments. Only three experiments conducted by JJ Thompson. Sir, uh, so when they were conducting uh, conducting the experiment for the first time, you observed uh, right? Okay. Right. So, did you understand the homework? What is the homework you have to do? You have to summarize the lesson, today lesson, and send me uh, photographs of that lesson. And I will send you the homework sheet. Daily you will have a homework sheet. Complete that homework sheet. Okay, so that's the homework for today. Right, now uh, tell me, how was the today's uh, session? Was it useful and uh, do you have any doubts?
Okay, good. Uh, understood the lesson very well, sir. Thank you. Okay, you are missing. Right. What about the others? Any doubts? If you have any doubts, please tell me. Okay, good. Right. Okay, good. Always, as always, I will clear your doubts. Good. Right. Good. Right. Let's start the story. Okay. A very mature of instruction and very excellent instruction. Sir. Okay, right. Thank you. Uh, right. Okay. Then uh, it seems uh, you don't have any doubts. Right, uh, then uh, if you don't have any doubts, uh, then uh, we can meet on next Sunday. Do the homework. Ah, one more thing before you leave, actually, may I didn't save your names. Can you please send your names to the WhatsApp group, actually? I want to save, save your names. Uh, just uh, give your name. So I'm, uh, don't just say, say the name. So two names, Sandeep Prasad, likewise. Uh, just give your names and I will save your names. You have to do that, one, right? And if you have any doubts, always I'm available. At any time, uh, send me a message and I will help you to clear your doubts. Right, then uh, if you don't have any doubts, let's meet on next Saturday. Until then, bye-bye, have fun, good night. If you have any doubts, you can ask and you can, you can stay and ask. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bye. Okay. Good night. Right. Okay. Good night. Okay. Okay. Night.